All right, so we're going to do a little bit of gas stoichiometry. Um, so remember, you know, we can go from mass to moles using um, the molar mass. We can go from moles to number of particles, atoms, or molecules using Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Hopefully it's uh, sort of ingrained in your brain now that molarity is moles times volume, or moles over volume. So moles is molarity times volume. So I can go back and forth between moles and molarity. Um, but the one that we're going to focus on mostly here is if I'm at STP, uh, I use the molar volume. 22.4 liters is one mole of any gas, right? And if I'm not at STP, I have to figure out my volume using Pevner, PV equals NRT, or V equals N. R T over P. Okay, so here we have <coughs> safety airbags. And automobiles are inflated by nitrogen gas generated by the rapid decomposition of sodium azide. Okay, but an airbag has a volume of 36 liters filled with nitrogen gas at a pressure of 1.15 atm, temperature of 26, how many grams of sodium azide must be decomposed? Okay, so this is a stoic problem. It's a stoic problem and it's a Pivner problem. So I first have to figure out how many moles of this I have. And once I know how many moles of this I have, I can use stoic to figure out how much of this I, I need. Okay, so I have, um, let's Let's figure out N equals PV over RT to get the moles of uh, nitrogen gas. My pressure is 1.15 atmosphere. My volume is 36 liters. I'm going to put that over 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres over moles K times 20, um, this is still over, times 26 C, which is 299 K. Okay, my units will all cancel. So if I punch this, I'm going to get 1.15 times 36 equals divide by 0 0.082006 times 299. Close my parentheses and I get 1.687 moles of nitrogen. Okay? And based on this, I have to figure out how much sodium azide I need, how many grams of that. So what I know is there are, from the stoichiometry, is there are three moles of nitrogen give me, come from two moles of sodium azide and I also know that one, um, this is moles, one mole of sodium azide has a molar mass of nitrogen three, so let me see, that's 14.5 uh, times three equals plus 22.9 is sodium 99. That's my molar mass, okay? And this is 65.02. All right, so let's plug and chug. So I got 65.02 times 2 times 1.687 equals divide by 3. Keep your fingers crossed, and we get nice 73 grams of sodium azide. It looks like I want three sig figs. Okay. All right, quick line is produced. By the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate, calculate the volume of carbon dioxide at STP produced from the decomposition of 152 grams of calcium carbonate by the reaction. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Um, looks like I have a balanced reaction. So I'm starting with 152 
grams of calcium carbonate and um, once I know how many moles of that I have I can use a stoic and figure out how much how many um, liters of carbon dioxide I need, right? It's at all at STP which makes this really simple. So I gotta figure out the molar mass of calcium carbonate so let's do that. Uh, so three oxygens is uh, gonna be 48 48 plus 12.01 for carbon plus uh, calcium is 40.08 that's a molar mass of 100.09 okay grams of calcium carbonate is one mole of calcium carbonate and I need one mole of calcium carbonate to get one mole of CO2 and one mole of CO2 is 22.4 liters of CO2 so I'm just gonna do a plug and a chug so it's 152 times 22.4 equals divide by 100.09 close my parentheses and I get 34 looks like I want three sig figs 34 point looks like point oh liters okay all right sample of methane gas having a volume of 28 liters at 25 C and 165 atmospheres was w mixed with a sample of oxygen having a volume of 35 liters at 31 C and 1.25 atmospheres. The mixture was ignited to form CO2 in water. Calculate the volume of CO2 formed at the pressure of 2.5 atmospheres and temperature of 125 C. Okay, so this is a combined Stoic and Pivner problem and it's limiting reactant it looks like. So first we're going to write the balance equation. So I'm starting with methane. You should know methane is CH4. Combustion always means add oxygen. We always get CO2 and H2O. Okay, so I need two of those and then I'll need two of those. Okay, so it tells me um, what I've got for methane. So I'm going to start with that. I've got to figure out how many moles I have. So it's going to be PV over RT. And this is for methane, so I'm just going to write CH4. So this is going to be pressure is 1.65 atm. Liters uh, volume is 2.80 liters over 0 0.0862 0 0.086 0.082 I am losing it. 0 0.08206 times my temperature is 25 so that'd be 298 and if I punch that I get 1.65 times 2.8 equals divide by 0 0.08206 times 298 close my parentheses and I get Point point one eight eight nine two seven, and it's good to carry as many sig figs as you can, or as reasonable, and then you round at the very end. All right, so I also have to figure out how many moles of oxygen I have because it might be limiting. Let's just make sure. So moles of oxygen is going to be PV over RT. Its pressure is one point two five atm. Its volume is 35 liters. Looks like it's going to be more. Over 0 0.08206 um, for my R times my T. Let me see. Um, the oxygen's at 31. So 31 and 273 is 304. All right. Pretty sure this is going to be quite a bit higher. All right, so I got 1.25 times 35. I missed a 5 in there. All right, 
just punch it again, times 35 equals divide by 0 0.082006 times 304, close my parentheses, and I get, all right, quite a bit more moles, 1.75 moles, this is O2, and this is methane. So we get a whole bunch um, of O2, plenty of O2, so what's going to limit me is the 0.1889 moles of this, which should give me 0.1889 moles of this, right? They both have a 1 coefficient. Alright, so I want to know the, the uh, volume of CO2 form, so in this case, if I take my PV equals NRT, my volume is going to be NRT over P. And in this case, I know I should get this many moles, 0.1, let me just block this off, 889 moles, times my volume of CO2, which, uh, I'm sorry, not my volume, I need my R here, 0.08206 times my temperature, which is 125, so I add 273 to that, and I get 398 times 398, and my pressure there says, whoops, 2.5 atm. What a mess, huh? All right, so let's punch this and see what we get. 0.1889 times my R, 0.08 206 times times 398 equals divide by 2.5 enter and I get 2.47 liters nice it's always nice when you get the right answer isn't it all right all right we're going to stop there